Hey everyone, it's Andreas here and welcome to Crazy Controller. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video and following along with me. And in this video, we're going to be looking together at how to create a new user account for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we have had a few new releases lately with the Special Edition Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch and of course a new coral color for the Nintendo Switch Lite. So you may have picked up your first ever Nintendo Switch or maybe an additional Switch from the original one that you have and you might be interested in how to create a new user account. Well firstly, just to let you know, when you pick up a brand new Switch, the very first thing that it's going to do is actually set up some settings like uh, country, region, Wi-Fi and so forth and included in that is a brand new user account because you always need to have one user created to be able to use the Switch. However, in the family, you might have uh, multiple people who want to use the Switch and be able to play their own video games on their own account. Or you might want to just create a brand new user account for yourself, but to have two separate ones. So what you can do is um, you can create a new one in system settings. So as we can see on the screen right now, this is my home screen of the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I've got quite a few different games here, which, you know, with the virus going around, unfortunately, I hope everyone is keeping safe. Uh, a lot of people are in lockdown uh, and isolation, so it's a good time to actually catch up on some video games that you may personally have. And I'm actually going to do a lot more video gameplays for the Nintendo Switch in the coming days and weeks. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you would like to see some uh, exciting gameplays uh, as I start by playing Mario Kart 8 very shortly. So here's my uh, home screen as mentioned before. Quite a few different games I've got. I'm just gonna go to system settings over here first. Uh, as we can see on the left hand side we have a few different settings that we can customize but I'm gonna go to user and using my keypad I'm gonna click on the right arrow which goes across and here at the moment we have two user accounts already created. I have one for myself and one for my beautiful wife Brooke as she loves Mario Kart. Now if I want to create a new user I'm going to go down to here add user and I'm going to click the A button to get into that and now we have two options we have create new user and we have import a user from another Nintendo Switch console. So if this is like your second Nintendo Switch console, maybe you purchased a Nintendo Switch Lite, so you can take that around with you, uh, then you probably wanna choose this one here, which allows you to import your user account from your original Switch straight to your new one. But in this particular video, I'm gonna show you create new user. So I'm gonna click on that. Now this is where it gets a little bit exciting. We can actually customize it and choose our profile icon. Now, randomly what it does is it chooses uh, a few uh, favorite ones. So it'll show you here 12 uh, different icons that you can maybe choose. But what I'm actually gonna do is I wanna go to create own icon. And we have two options, character and background. So I'm gonna choose character. And now you see we have a lot more options to choose from. And we can see different uh, characters from different Nintendo franchises. For example, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, we have as well from uh, the Legend of Zelda series. We have as well uh, Animal Crossing series, which I'm sure a lot of Animal Crossing fans have put in a lot of hours at the moment in the last few days for the new game. Uh, Splatoon series. Um, we even got characters from ARMS and uh, Star Fox, Kirby series, is so much here that you can choose from, even uh, Metroid as well, which is uh, really cool. And there's so many to choose from. So I wanna try and pick one for uh, a new user account, which I'm gonna create for uh, this channel. Now the one I have for my one is Toon Link, that's the one I have, and my wife has um, one from Animal Crossing. So I am going to choose, I'm gonna choose Mario here with Cappy from Super Mario Odyssey, which is another amazing game, and I'm sure I will eventually get to do a gameplay for that. So I'm gonna choose uh, Mario here. Now I can choose the background. Now we have a few different colors uh, from the color palette that we can choose. There's quite a bit here. 
so what it does, as you can see on the right hand side in the preview, it changes the color. Now, usually with Mario, you know, you would go for red, which suits it really nice. But I feel like it, if you do the red colors, it sort of hides Cappy there. I can see it does have a bit of a shadow, I guess. I do like the blue colors. Uh, what should I do? Should I do blue or red? Uh, hmm. I'm going to go with the blue color. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose something different. So let's go to blue. And there we go. So we've chosen our character icon and our background color as well. So I'm just going to go to OK. All right. So this is where we enter our name or nickname. I'm going to go crazy. Controller. All right, so as you see, and you can hear that um, sort of alarm symbol, it only allows you to put 10 characters. So make sure you choose your name wisely. In this case, it doesn't bother with me to have it as crazy control uh, because in a way we can see that is crazy controller. So you can push the plus symbol or go to the blue button for okay, but just make sure you can only go up to 10 characters. All right, so this user will be added to the console, crazy control, I'll go okay. All right, so now here we can link in a Nintendo account to the user. Now, this is really important because um, with the Nintendo account, it actually allows you to do quite a few things. Firstly, it allows you to save um, your game saves into the cloud, into your account. If you don't have that, then pretty much what happens is it saves uh, your game saves locally. Uh, it allows you to purchase the uh, Nintendo online service, which uh, gives you lots of great goodies. Um, for example, Super Nintendo games and Nintendo system games and as well online multiplayer. But of course, there is a fee for that per month or per year. And it as well allows you to, um, when you purchase a game for your user, it allows you to accumulate uh, gold coins, which can... Uh, change into money value as well. So for example, 100 coins is $1 in money value. Uh, so if I was to choose sign in and link, it's going to prepare and then connect to the internet. This might take a few seconds longer than normal because a lot of people are using the internet around the area since uh, a lot of people are at home at the moment. So here we go, it says please select the sign in method. So pretty much you have two uh, options to sign in. Uh, you can sign in using an email address or sign in ID. So you might have a Nintendo account already, or you can sign in using a different account like a Gmail, Twitter, Facebook, or even an older Nintendo account, or you can create a new account. So if you don't have a Nintendo account as of yet, you can create a new one and then join it or link it to this user. In this particular case, I have my own personal one connected to my personal user. So I'm just going to go back by pushing the B. And I'm going to choose this as later. You can go back and connect it later on, which I'm going to show you in a second. So here you go. That is how easy it is to create a new user. We can see we have the three users now over there, uh, which is great. So if I want to link a Nintendo account later on, uh, you have to go into system settings go to back to user choose your user then you'll notice their link to nintendo account you can delete the user from here as well which then will permanently delete your user account but again if you have a nintendo online account it will save your games so uh, you won't lose those now if i go back to the main window here uh, what you will notice is when you create your user account, you'll see on the top there, top left corner, so I can see all three. So pretty much uh, what this allows you to do is when you choose it, it gives you your profile where you can customize it. And again, you can link your account from here as well. And you can see your friend lists, you can add friends, you can see online play, invitations, suggestions, and then user settings. So again, it's just another way to view that. Now the really cool thing is, and the point of a user account as mentioned before, is your game saves. So the way it works is, 
If I want to play a game like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I click on it and it will give me the option to choose my account that I want to play. So I would choose Crazy Controller and then it would go into that and then I can access all my saved games and continue my game as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope um, this video showcased how simple it is to create a new user. Uh, thanks again for watching this video. Uh, please give it a big thumbs up uh, and maybe comment what is your favorite Nintendo Switch game and what Nintendo Switch game are you currently playing? I'm sure a lot of them uh, will be uh, Animal Crossing since that got released a few days ago. But let me know what you'll be playing. Thanks again and if, it's, uh, if you're new to this channel make sure you click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more Nintendo Switch uh, games, uh, videos and everything on this channel make sure you click that subscribe button it really helps me out. Thanks again for watching and keep safe everyone. See ya.